Hi, I'm Andrew Binger, and I have the opportunity, the pleasure, the privilege to be the director for this production. I'm Laura Ekstrand, and my role in this production is as producer and also costume and prop designer. Hey, what's up? My name is Joshua T. Crockett, and I play uh, uh, David, um, David, Benjamin, uh, and a couple of other characters. Uh, Mitchell Gordon, oh, Mitchell <laughs> Lee Gordon, that's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Uh, equity to come hunting me down. Um, yeah, play a few few parts. Uh, Matthew Weaver, um, Kurt, and things and things are mostly crazy. And man in capture for a common man. My name is Harry Patrick Christian, <laughs> otherwise known as H. And uh, let's see, I'm in four of the seven plays that we're doing tonight in Only Human. Um, I am a dad in Cab Fair uh, for the common man. I am a, an officious secretary named Sam in Chocolate Chip Friday. I'm one half of a beautiful couple in uh, Matthew Weaver. And my favorite part is Boxer in Things Are Mostly Crazy. That's who I'm playing. <laughs> it's hard to pick uh, a favorite play out of the seven plays that are part of this evening. They're also layered. It comes to what's the most challenging piece, um, and I think that a piece that really kind of like touches on so much of what all the other pieces touch on is the final play, uh, Capture for the Common Man. And it's like this, you know, fast track through all of what life can be for someone. Um, and it moves at this breakneck pace. It's difficult because there's so many elements that are thrown in it and I'll allow people to come see it to, to you know, I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a lot of technical things that go into that piece. Um, movement of the actors as well as sort of getting the lights and the sound just right. Andrew and I were just talking actually in the break about how each one of them has this moment where two people's needs meet. So every one of these little plays has strong needs on both sides. And what we witness in each of these short plays is the moment when these two people come together and their needs are satisfied or are trying to be satisfied somehow. But it's, it's a, it is the connection between the humans and each of these pieces that, that makes them similar and makes them, in my mind, fun to watch, important to watch. And they all share that moment in, in very different ways, in comedic ways, in dramatic ways, emotional ways. Um, so I, I wouldn't pick one of them as being the core. I think they all have cores themselves. Well, they took it pretty easy on me, I'd say, because I have some space in between like one scene to another scene, so I can kind of help myself get into whatever headspace I need to get in. Uh, Serena, for example, she has like a lot of like yeah. back-to-back scenes. We're all helping each other out in ways that we can, like, you know, so. Yeah, it's just fun, yeah, but it's challenging. In some ways, it's harder to do seven short pieces than <laughs> one big piece where you're playing one character for the entire evening. This, because the short plays, you have to develop a shorthand, I guess, yes. in your characterization to yes. make quick choices so that the audience can follow the story better. But it's always fun to play different characters. I'll just put it that way. It can be scary to do all of them in one night, but let's face it, it's all scary. <laughs> I get to show a whole range of human experience in a 10 minute piece, which, you don't always get to do. Sometimes you're only asked to play one thing. And this allows both me and Mitchell to play, Mitchell and I, to play uh, various characteristics of one person that's not ourselves, which is always fun. Marine plays a mm -hmm. taxi driver. We're not gonna Robert De Niro has yes. nothing on him. Yeah, exactly. Because Andrew is an artistic director, I have a lot of trust for him because he's a person who gets the job done and I know from being an artistic director of a small theater that you just you do what it takes and you're a problem solver and you're a creative person so I feel like built into hiring another artistic director is knowing that they are capable and they don't wait for someone else to, to do things they just do them which is a great great quality.